It is my bedtime and I'm supposed to be in bed, but I'm out here reading messages and looking at fine men this time of the night. But I saw these messages that Gerald just put out and I am seeing Mercy's little sticky fingers all over it. Like this is Mercy. This is like clearly it's Mercy. So these are messages that he received from um, Instagram. So on May 3rd, it says, hello, Mr. Addy. You probably won't get these messages, but I'm a fan of yours and wanted to reach out to you as a Christian like yourself. Right there, she's pandering. She knows that he's a Christian. What fan knows about um, Gerald's churchiness? Because he's very like churchy, churchy, you know. So she's pandering to his churchy side because she knows. This is somebody that knows Gerald, that knows how to get to him. So okay let's start over i'm a fan of yours and wanted to reach out to you as a christian like yourself i see that you are a good man i can see through all the drama and everything that has happened i wanted to reach out to you and just give you some words of encouragement like why if you are such a mercy f okay but then again she said that she's a fan of both of them but anyways i actually became a fan of you and mercy when i started seeing pictures of you Two. Anyways, what really got me was your beautiful engagement pictures. Those pictures look like something out of a storybook. I know a lot of people were against your relationship, <laughs> but I saw some things in the both of you. The two of you looked absolutely stunning together, and I saw a lot of potential. Mercy's such a narcissist, like she has to call herself absolutely stunning. There is a lot that I feel like the two of you could have done. We have all seen what happened here recently on social media and I can't help but reach out to you and ask if you have a family member or some spiritual advisor that really talks to you as a young, intelligent, successful man. She, know, she knows how to stroke his ego as a young, intelligent, successful man. Wow. Did you ever seek counseling? Oh my gosh, she now started counseling in Ohio. Now it's counseling is the question. Did you talk to the church about the issues you were having? Do you love Mercy? Only Mercy would ask that question. Do you know if she loves you? I asked this question because with everything that's happening between you two, all I see is hurt and pain. I don't see two people really thoughtful each other and decided that was cool. I see two people trying to get back at each other and that is the work of the devil. This is the, how the devil operates. The devil does not like to see anything good. You two were the epitome of what a beautiful black couple looks like. Mm. If you still have love in your heart for your woman, women, I suggest you take things off social media, pray, and let God intervene. Worse things have happened and people have gotten over it. Funny, she, she wants him to forget everything that she did to him on social media. You are a man and if you love that woman, I think you still have a chance to fight for her. Take care of yourself and keep your head up. God bless you. By the way, yes, I created this account just to be able to contact you anonymously. Wow, that's crazy. You don't have to respond back, but if you ever needed to talk to someone who's not taking sides, I'm here. She's a psycho bitch, like seriously. Here goes Gerald, oh gosh, falling for it. You are kind. <laughs> you are kind, intelligent, and wonderful. I'm okay. I spend a lot of time praying and asking God to fight on my be behavior, really. I don't believe Mercy loves me more than she loves money, obviously. That's what I've come to learn over time, being alone. I got online to protect a career and a character I've worked hard to create over after moving to America at the age of 18 years old. I couldn't accept my reputation being tarnished so foolishly, but I've come to realize that the people who meet me and get to know me think the world of me and that's all that matters. I know I know the amazing man, father and friend that I am. Thanks for texting out, oh, reaching out, goodness gracious. Okay, hello, Mr. Addy, here comes Mercy. <laughs> Now we're catfishing now. 
Hello, Mr. Addy. Thank you so much for responding. I didn't think you would even get the message. Thank you for not for sharing your story with me. I'm sure it's difficult to fight a battle on such a public platform because you know she thinks like she's a superstar. For the world to see, especially when you do it with someone you once cared about. As I told you in my previous message, God touched my heart to reach out to you. Oh, she's going to keep going with this God thing. There's something about you and your fiance that really spoke to my heart and I was really sad to see and hear everything that ha that was happening. There's something you said that cut my attention. <laughs> you, you said that you don't think Mercy loves you. Did you feel that way throughout the entire time with her or was it something that happened? Mm. And if I may ask, do you have feelings for her still? <laughs> Goodness. She was really trying to come back to Atlanta. Um, do you think you would ever reconcile with her in any capacity? Oh, Mercy has questions. I, I asked this question because I know that there's nothing. I would, God cannot fix. Things may seem really bad right now. Ooh, she's re oh, she's reaching. I apologize. I meant to say there's nothing our God cannot fix. I was just juicing it up. I think... Um, the first mistake you both made was not putting God first in your relationship. A relationship like the one you both, and especially a public one, God should have been the first person you've run to in the case of any trouble. You both are very attractive people. Of course she's going to call herself attractive. And the world would be out to destroy you if, you if they could. And that's what I see happening here. Am I wrong? Do you think that it's something from the inside can i pray with you can i refer you to my pastor mercy is a catfish now instead of just admitting that you were wrong you took things too far by accusing this man of abuse and whatever now instead she's making fake accounts manipulating this man into chasing her because she has too much pride because you know she's like a superstar with the world platform and whatever here goes gerald i tried with putting god first as god is my witness and mercy can attest all i did was try to push us in the right direction maybe maybe immaturely now in retrospect mercy mercy loved me she really did we fell in love with each other i can it can be so beautiful but then we're both alphas so we bump heads often the same thing that makes us so attracted to each other and in love with each other is the same thing that destroys us of course because you know mercy's manly She's brutal in her actions with no remorse. Sometimes it feels like a spit in my face because she's blatantly refusing to speak the truth or the entire truth. It can be difficult when we're both opposed to each other as opposed to being on the same page. I don't know, but we need deliverance and guidance <laughs> if a relationship was ever going to work. We need a person or people we trust to lead us and an advisor in some of our shortcomings. It's truly a lot. I don't know. Mercy has to be the one to answer that because she's the bull, oh, bull woman. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, that says a lot. Stay strong, keep your head up. You are a great young man with a bright future and don't you worry, everything you and I have discussed is confidential. I will never talk to another soul about it. Of course, girl, because you're talking, it's mercy. <laughs> He says, thank you. I'm not worried at all. Thank you so much. So polite. Poor guy. I hope he knows at this point that he's talking to Mercy. She, here goes Mercy. Would you ever consider counseling with your fiance? Mm, girl, you in this counseling? If so, I would recommend you do something Christian. Oh, Jesus. Yes, she goes with this question. The people of the world are not the same as us. Mm, us. Who's us? Their views and values are different. I want you to keep that in mind if you ever get to that point. Do you have any questions for me? Like, bitch, who are you? Like, you're supposed, are you forgetting that you're supposed to be this lady from Trinidad and you just know everything about their relationship and their love and how they interact in the house? The old girl is like, do you have any questions for me? Are you the professor? This is basically Mercy asking um, Gerald to go for counseling. Okay then, so Gerald responds, I can do counseling for sure. I don't know, Mercy scares me, <laughs> she scares me too. 
for sure to be portrayed this way online knowing that I'm nothing like that it's scary for me she knows me yeah goes Marcy oh it's great to hear that you could do counseling of course God is good Mm. you say mercy scares you what do you mean by this do you think she will oppose to go to counseling with you uh, go she says no i think she will go yeah go say mercy okay this is great the lord is good how do you think you would be able to do this do you you live together correct <laughs> can you schedule something what scares you about mercy i'm pro i'm professionally not a counselor otherwise i would have volunteered for sure to counsel you both but I would hate to render unprofessional help to you both when you need it the most I need to go to bed I can't even keep my eyes open like it's, it's, it's way past my bedtime anyways so Gerald says we haven't talked in a couple of weeks mm. I don't know where she is oh I'm sorry to hear that I was under the impression that we lived oh we we she messed up. I was under the impression that we live together. He says, she's in Ohio, I presume. We do live together. But since she left here, she's not come back. Okay. Yeah, I'm still stuck on that. We love. She's slipping up. Like, she must be sleepy like me. Is Ohio where her family is? She has, she's such a child. He says, yes. She say, I see. <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> she something else. He says, that's, that was week before last Saturday. See, this is where Mercy is messing up. Because anybody that, w that is a real Mercy fan wouldn't encourage her, him to go after Mercy or them to get back together. Because the way Mercy was talking about him see, made him seem like he was like a violent guy so you you can clearly see that this is mercy because she wants to get back together with him so anyway she says did you try to go after her trying to coerce him into chasing her now you are the man remember you should always go after your woman if you love her that is how you show your protection of her you never let her walk out of your sight She's so manipulative. She's so manipulative. She's such a, she's, she's toxic, this girl. She's very, very toxic and venom. The fact that she even did this, that she even turned one of her accounts into an um, anonymously so that she can contact Gerald and coerce him into chasing after her is so sick. It's so, I don't know. It's very sinister, her way of operating. Very bizarre, very bizarre. Here Gerald goes, no, I didn't. She calls the cops on me often when she's upset trying to destroy me. She, most recently, she called the cops on me, I guess, on the same Saturday she was here, all because she saw a video online portraying her in a bad light. The lady says, wow, this is serious. Mm, the lady, Lady Mercy. Wow, this is serious. I didn't realize it got into this point. Really? There you, what videos are you watching? I would say from a woman's point of view, <laughs> point of view, when a, when a woman is, has the ability to get very upset with you to the point where she's acting out of character, that is her way of telling you how much she loves you and how much you are hurting her. And as a man, you should never argue or aggravate a woman. You should always be there to calm the situation and make her feel safe and protected wow there you could see mercy is the abuser if if there was any other place that you were wondering if mercy is the abuser the narcissist gaslighting in this relationship she just told you she loves but she loves but it seems i'll die before she knows i love her too that that's weird anyways um maybe i'm just sleepy and i'm reading it right so here goes mercy never speak those words to my son Who's your son, lady? Um, the devil is a liar. The main question now is how can you both get help together? Are you seeing something? <laughs> Mercy's trying to figure out if he's seeing me. No, Mercy, he's not. I do not know how you... Girl, calm down, okay? Like, no. Are you seeing someone? Is she seeing someone? 
girl, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Anyways, I cannot even open my eyes anymore. I'm just seeing every other word. So to be continued, to be continued, I'm going to make these videos even if nobody listens to it. And to me, it is hilarious. It's, it's the funniest thing of the day. Okay. So anyways, toodles.